Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Larry, and today is a very special review. It is my first, and hopefully not my last, G.I. Joe Classifieds review, because I don't plan on collecting the whole line, only figures I uh, that really resonate with me, that I grew up with, that were my favorite characters. Uh, and Zartan was one of my favorite villains growing up, especially action figure-wise. I never had the Zartan, my cousins did. And it was really cool. And this takes that, you know, to a whole new level. And anyone who does collect classifieds or anything else like Power Rangers Lightning Collection or Star Wars Black Series or even Marvel Legends will know about the articulations. And this, this is supposed to be nothing different really except for because they're G.I. Joe. They'll have a whole lot more accessories compared to everyone else. But this is a PulseCon exclusive Zartan figure. This is the Master of Disguise Zartan, as you can tell with this nice special packaging. And let's take a closer look at the artwork on this thing. And it's, I believe this is the same artist who does all the artwork for the uh, Lightning Collection. But this has got a special, you know, G.I. Joe, motif obviously of course then you got this nice big shot of all the Joes and Cobras on the back which I really do dig that artwork it's really nice nice side profile of the Zartan there of course back to the front now this is a special kind of packaging which has this nice little wheel here as you can see it moves but when you spin it it shows all well, at least most of the disguises that he has in the box so you can display this any way you want I think it's like doesn't show at least two of the masks and let's go ahead and as you see it's got a flap here so we're going to crack this open like this to get a better look at the inside and look at that got a nice dreadnoughts Dreadnought. Am I saying it right? Dreadnought. Uh, insignia. The Cobra Fangs. And you have Zartan here with all of his different masks and other accessories in the package. And the, this Zartan has a special feature compared to the uh, first release of Zartan that we got. But I don't have him. But I'm pretty sure that one does not do this. I think it was only exclusive for this version of the figure, and we'll get more into that later. Let's go ahead and open him up and see what we got inside. All right, and here we have Zartan, Master of Disguise Zartan, out of his packaging. And you can see all the bevy of accessories he has, mostly by all the faces and extra two heads. Yes, those are the only ones that are actual heads. Everyone else is masked. Everything else here are masked. As you can see, this will just go right over top of Zartan's head. Should fit nicely over his face. We'll try that out in a little bit. This mask got a nice... Oh, snake eyes helmet. Yeah, we're going a little bit backwards. Nice. Got a storm shadow head. And three other faces that just go over top of Zartan's face. No idea who they are supposed to be. So you just mold it. It should fit on and we'll test that out once we get everything else on him. We'll go ahead and Take a little look at the rest of these faces real quick and we'll go over the articulation and the rest of the accessories. Okay, so here's Zartan as he is out of the box as you first get him out. And I'll scoop myself up here a little bit. Now if you're familiar with Lightning Collection, which I do a lot, I've done a few reviews of, and that's a good chunk of my collection currently. You'll be familiar with all the articulation. 
Especially it's, it's the same with the uh, Black Series and Marvel Legends. But you got his head here on a ball joint with a hinge. He can look pretty high up when you don't have the hood on. Pretty far down as well. Got a little bit of wiggle room here because of it. Uh, you can turn left to right and spin all the way around and go L, exorcist style. Now the torso here. So we got on his arms. His armor is on a soft plastic. Very pliable so it shouldn't hinder the shoulders. But that's about as high as I can get the shoulders to go up. Anyway. I'm not sure if that was meant to be like that or not. But it's on that hinge. Once a ball joint. You got your bicep cut or bicep swivel. You got your double jointed elbow, which again are really tight when you first get these guys out. So if you did get him, he is sold out, so there will not be a link. Uh, there's no glove cut, which is similar to how the Power Rangers are, but there is a wrist swivel. And is there a hint? Yeah, this is okay. This one's got a vertical hinge on this hand that's already on him and that's one thing he does not come with a lot of set of hands he doesn't come with any extra set of hands this is the only pair it was one of the few figures I got from Hasbro that doesn't have an extra set of hands and these are both uh, vertical hinges on both hands uh, going over the torso you got your ab crunch go all the way back like that got a little bit of a rock here too at the waist so it's kind of a ball joint in here but that also turns at the waist got his belt there and get your legs you got your you can almost do a full van dam that and now it's got some give here so that's interesting okay that hinge here you do get a thigh cut the armor is attached to his leg but it's got that nice little overhang so it still moves with it got your double jointed knees got a boot cut and then you got your ankle tilt and there is a slight rocker side to side kind of more goes at an angle so there's that and let's go ahead and make sure he looks like he normally does. Going to take his head off here and put his little collar down on here. Oh, and I did not realize it. His neck is got an extra joint here at the base, so it's not just to get a little bit of added articulation. It's not just the ball joint here at the head. Get a little bit more articulation there, which is kind of cool. All right, we'll pop his head back on. You know, you could probably put that collar on without having to take that off. And we'll go ahead and put Zartan's hood on. Wow, that goes on pretty good. And that's... And there he is. As I remember him from the cartoon and the action figure. From the old good old days. Yeah. Let's take a closer look at his accessories. Alright, so first up we'll go over his big sniper rifle it looks like. Now mine's a little warped here at the end, but it's got a nice strap. Very pliable plastic, but I would probably be careful with this. Kind of feels like it could be brittle at some point. We should be able to wrap it around him. Hopefully fairly easy. And this the legs here do move. So you can move it out of the way if you needed to. This part here also opens up. Which is pretty neat. Little funk feature. Right, I'll put that back down. Right, you got a quiver. And you know, if you're gonna have a quiver, you know, you're gonna need something to shoot the arrows with, right? Or I guess it's supposed to be a re resemblance of Storm Shadow's bow. 
pretty much all white plastic. Most of these are all just cast in one color plastic with very minimal paint, if any paint at all. Like his knife here has absolutely no paint. It's just plastic. It's like a little bit duller black here. And then more polish on the black on the blade. And then you got his sidearm here. All black plastic. Try to get it get into focus. Because it's really small. So it's really hard. And then you got this backpack. Which I'm guessing opens up. Yep. And I believe you can house one of the three masks in it. Yes. That's what it is. So yeah, you can open this up and you can take one of these, place it in like so. I think this is actually more designed for the other one. I don't know how well that's going to work. And you close it up. I think it's supposed to be more like for this one because I think this is the one that came with the normal version. I think that's, yeah, that fits in a whole lot better than the chubbier cheek one and just close it up and you can see it has a peg on the back here plug into Zartan's back now the interesting about this is that there is a also if you notice on the quiver there's a hole here for a peg too with its own peg which unfortunately my peg on his quiver seems to have been mangled I don't think I will be able to use that yeah, that is not, oh, well, maybe. Well, maybe it's meant to be like that. I don't know. I don't think it is. It doesn't look like that that is what it should be. If so, what in the world were you all thinking? But it does plug in still, luckily. And then you can plug this. I don't know if you should. Look into that, but that's kind of weird. Doesn't really work out that well this goes and you just plug that right into that maybe you could take this nope well kind of kind of light kind of loose on that and as you can tell he also has a sheath on his back was belt for his knife just take that plug that right should be able to plug that right in there yep there that goes. And there is a hole here on his belt for something. This gun? I don't know. It doesn't make any sense for that. I don't know what would go in here. That would look weird. So there's really no place for him to put his sidearm at, unfortunately. But let's go ahead and test out some of these masks and see how they work. So you just really just take it and put it right there. Just nice tight fit on his face. Very interesting. Yeah, it does hug him pretty nice, pretty tightly too. Yeah. Like I said, Sartan was one of my favorite figures, uh, favorite characters growing up. Because he had a unique ability, and they mimicked that in the toy, original toy, back in the day. But I believe it was used by Sunlight, and he would change blue. Because that was the whole gimmick. When he got into Sunlight, he couldn't be in the sunlight for too long because he was it would affect his skin for some odd reason. I don't remember because I haven't watched GI Joe, Real American Hero, in ages. Feels like. But this one does it a little bit differently. You, if you have anyone ever had like an old school Toy Biz Mr. Freeze figure, it was kind of similar to that. You have to get him really cold in order for him to change color. Now, when I first got him in, there's a picture I posted. I think I posted this on my Twitter. I might not have. If I haven't, I will. <laughs> when I first got him out and I opened up the flap, he was already blue. <laughs> 
because of how cold it was when he was delivered. He just sat there for a little bit uh, on the porch. And uh, yeah, so we will take, put him in the freezer or something and take a look at that, what he looks like and see how long it takes for him to get warm. I think it took him a good maybe 20, 30 minutes for him to get his regular color back originally. So yeah, we'll take a look at that next. And here he is after about 20 minutes in the freezer. And you can see he's a nice shade of blue. Come on, focus. Probably does not like having my hand in there. There it is. Kind of more like a purple in the light here. But yeah, all of his flesh tone, parts of his body. Get this lovely purple. Now if you can watch. Heat on my thumb. Ta da! Yeah, he's still pretty cold, so he's kind of changing right back. But yeah, that's like one of the coolest things in a long time I've seen for figures. Especially for this scale. I mean, how cool is that? See, he's so cold, he's still he's almost turning back to the blue. He'll start to warm up, and he'll start to change color. We'll do a time lapse on that to find out. Since this figure is a Pulse Con exclusive, he's really going to be super hard to get since he's been sold out almost immediately upon his release. I was just lucky to get him before he sold out. Um, but I am very happy to get this figure. I have been tempted for months to get the if I was going to get the original one or not and decided against it because I knew this one was coming. And I might still get the other one, but who knows. And as soon as they finally announce and release a shipwreck, that probably be my second and my only other figure from this collection uh, for G.I. Joe Classifies that I will end up getting. Because I did miss out on that Supreme Commander, uh, well, Supreme Cobra Commander figure. Which I still wish I could have got. But anyway, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And follow for more videos to come. I still have many other Power Rangers to go through and other figures. But until next time, peace.